Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. Luis King Kong Ortiz beats his chest after defeating Razvan Kajanu, starching him in the second round in a relatively dominant performance. It was the sort of statement win that he needed. So the fight started out, Luis Ortiz in complete control. He took round one, but his opponent Razvan Kajanu was actually looking to fight. He was coming forward. He was throwing some shots. He was more aggressive and more confident than he was in the Joseph Parker fight more than a year ago, and that was Kajanu's last fight. So he's been inactive, but apparently he's been training and he was in better shape for this fight. But round two, Luis Ortiz turns it on a right hook and then followed up with a straight left down the pipe from the Cuban Southpaw. It just destroys Razvan Kajanu. He's on Queer Street, falls down, tries to get up too quickly, can't get the rope with his hand. He falls through the rope and then tries to get back up. Again, he can't get his hand or his glove onto the rope to help balance himself. He stumbles again and falls. So the referee, watching over all of this, says, I've seen enough, waves it off. Luis Ortiz, King Kong Ortiz, is back. So he needed a good performance to sort of just send a statement to the division that, hey guys, I am still here, I'm still a threat, and anyone wants to have a crack at me, I am more than willing to fight them and I'm ready and he wants a rematch with Deontay Wilder and he said ahead of this fight that he was going to take his pain and anguish from that Wilder loss back in March out on Kajanu and he didn't need to take too much out of him because uh, it was actually all over pretty quickly so it was the first major punches really that had landed of the fight and Kajanu he just his chin couldn't hold up to it so he drops to 16-4, and four and Luis Ortiz, another W on the record. He's fourth in the WBC at the moment. He's calling for a rematch with Deontay Wilder. And he said after the fight, and he got quite emotional because um, his daughter, one of his children, is ill, um, has been for some time, and apparently there's a cure for her disease. So he sort of teared up there, but that performance from Ortiz was exactly what he needed. It sends the message to the rest of the division. That he's ready. And Dillian White, he avoided Luis Ortiz recently to fight Joseph Parker today, actually. And um, a lot, I've already seen a little bit of commentary online saying, well, Ortiz and White would have been the better fight. Maybe in hindsight it was. I enjoyed the Parker and White fight, but I'm sure in Ortiz White fight, there will be some calls for that from certain quarters for it. Not sure Dillian White will take that because he wants a title shot now. But Ortiz, his best shot does appear to be a rematch with Deontay Wilder. And on the strength of that performance, you'd have to say that, well, that could be a possibility. Wilder, he hasn't had his mandatory called yet. He can take on a voluntary and perhaps an immediate rematch with Luis Ortiz, given the first fight was so high octane from rounds 5 to 10. Well, you could see that selling and doing well. I'd like to see the rematch, and Ortiz has proved he's still got enough in the tank. I think Wilder beats him, and probably beats him better the second time around, but I still would like to see that fight. So Luis Ortiz, obviously, he's wanting that fight. Will he get that fight? Well, that's another story. But he's still on the radar. He's still a threat. We'll have to see where this goes. What did you make of his performance? Drop a comment loud and often. Hit like, hit subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, boxing underscore squared. I'm out.